Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas Football here at House Park Stadium in Austin, Texas with the Friday night instant recap from week eight. Uh, we'll start with my game here, here tonight at House Park. Uh, Lake Travis pulls away in the second half for a 45-21 win over Austin Anderson. Uh, the Cavaliers in the second half played like the team we thought they would, uh, outscoring Anderson 24 to nothing in the second half. But give credit to Donald Hatch, Hatcher's ball club. Uh, the Anderson Trojans are, are, are much improved. They hung around. This was 21-21 ball game at halftime. Uh, Westlake, I mean, Lake Travis, a lot more depth, pulls away. Uh, but for the second week in a row, Anderson hangs around with the powerhouse for a half. They did it last week against Westlake. Did it again to Lake Travis. So hats off to the Anderson Trojans for putting together a uh, strong effort. Uh, staying in District 26-6A, we'll go down the road to Dripping Springs where the Westlake Chaparrales and the unbeaten showdown keep their winning streak alive with a 29-10 win over Dripping Springs. Uh, the biggest thing in this game for me that I noticed was the Westlake defense. Uh, you know, Tony Salazar is not the defensive coordinator anymore. He's the head coach, but they're still playing that great defense there uh, for the Chaparrales. They, they, they hold down an explosive drip off offense led by Austin Novosad uh, to just 10 points. So c credit to Austin Westlake, congratulations. And also for Dripping Springs, I think uh, this game proves that they can play and compete at the Class 6A level. <clears throat> um, in Class 5A, the big showdown in Burleson uh, kind of turned out to be a dub. The Alito Bearcats uh, extend their district winning streak, if memory serves, to 107 games as they beat Burleson Centennial 64-21. to uh, This was a 21-21 game in the second quarter. Alito scores the last 43 points of the game uh, to blow away Centennial and really make a statement that, you know, if right now Alito is the team to beat in Region 1 in Class 5A Division 1 with the dominant win. Uh, Centennial, fresh off their upset win over Denton Ryan last week, just didn't have enough juice in the tank. Alito uh, proving that they are an elite team and right now the team to beat in 5A Division 1. Uh, down in the Coastal Bend in Class 4A, the big showdown in Corpus Christi area, Cal Allen and Alice uh, comes down to the wire. Cal Allen hangs on for a 37-30 win over the Coyotes. Uh, Cal Allen scores with less than two minutes left, and then uh, Alice drives down to the 30-yard line at the end of the game. They're unable to convert, and Cal Allen hangs on for the win. Steve Campbell's golf club now 8-0 on the year. Um, but credit to Alice. I think Alice is a team that, that can contend in 4A Region 1, uh, Region 4, Division 1. Uh, Cutter Stewart, the, the move-in quarterback from Orange Grove, did a great job for the Coyotes. And uh, Alice is going to be a team to beat. But right now, Cal Allen at 8-0, uh, you got to put them and Bernie as the two favorites right now in 4A Division 1, Region 4. Uh, big game in Class 3A, the Hitchcock Bulldogs, the state 707 Division II champions, uh, improved to 8-0 on the year as well, knocking off number two ranked Columbus 33-28. Lloyd Jones throws a Hail Mary touchdown on fourth and 22 with under 20 seconds left to lift Hitchcock to the win over uh, Columbus 33-28. Columbus trailed 27-14 going in the fourth quarter. They rally to take a one-point lead. And then Hitchcock breaks their heart with a Hail Mary pass on 4th and 22 to win the game. The Hitchcock Bulldogs make a statement. They are here to stay in Class 3A Division 1, Region 3. Huge win for Hitchcock down there in Galveston County. And finally, in the Big Country Class 2A, uh, the Cisco Lobos, 47-14 over Stanford in their, in their showdown in the Big Country. Uh, Cisco, a senior-laden ball club. Stanford's undefeated going in. <clears throat> young and talented, uh, but a lot of sophomores, and they got a lesson tonight from a senior-laden ball club in the Cisco Lobos, 47-14. Now Cisco will await their big challenge here soon against number two ranked Hawley uh, in district play for uh, bragging rights out there in that district and uh, probably uh, in 2A Division One, Region One. Uh, probably that, that game is going to settle who the favorite is going in to the postseason. So. That wraps up the uh, Week 8 Instant Recap video here in House Park. Thanks to my camera guy, Tommy Yarish, for uh, hanging out with me and uh, taking care of the camera while I uh, spew about high school football. appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned to Dave Campbell's Texas Football for more great coverage.